what's it like getting the band back together, first of all? And then second of all, I have to ask, because like everybody here, I saw the first Wonder Woman, and so, uh, what the hell are you doing up here, Chris? I mean, not that I'm complaining, because like you could totally just come sit over here on my podium if you want, like it's no big deal. But, um, how, is, are you coming back in the movie? What's going on? You want to start a podium? I am actually not really here right now. I knew I'd I reach you. I aura of emotional support for my pals. Uh, no, I can't... Uh, Water girl. I'm a... Sad, she's super hungry. Sure, yeah. You have a parasol uh, outside when you're walking up. I'm big on hydration. Uh, no, I, I can't tell you that. Yeah, well, maybe, Patty, maybe Patty, it, it's, it, first of all, your first question, how, how is it to be back with these guys? So good. Yeah. You know, so good. We really did, we had the unique experience of having, like, not only did we end up loving, you know, our, our process together, but I love these guys as people so much, and so it was great, it, it, you know, to make the last film more psyched to be doing it again. What is he back here for? Well, it's, uh, it, it was, uh, it was, you know, it's something I'm super excited everybody to see the movie to find out. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's a, it's a very important part of our movie. Well, let's dive into uh, a big question that is invited by um, this art up here. Why 1984? You know, it was interesting. One of my favorite things about making the first movie in World War I, 1917, was getting to know the era. Really, when you dig into these eras, they as metaphors really symbolize things that are true always. And there was something about that time that was such the beginning of modernity and the mechanized world. Here, uh, it's funny, you know, I grew up in the 80s. There are lots of things set in the 80s right now, but this is its entirely own 80s movie, actually with a very different look and feel and its own thing. And the reason that I wanted to set it here is because it really was mankind at its best and worst. You know, we're, we're aware of the prices of some of our, of our behavior nowadays, but we weren't in the 80s, we were at the top. But not just the funny ha-ha 80s top. It was grand and wonderful and there was great music and great work. There was a lot of elegant and beautiful and incredible things about the 80s too, at, at the same time as we were revealing the worst of us. So there was no better time, now that we had Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman existed, to have Wonder Woman uh, go in and visit, you know, see Wonder Woman in a period of time that's really us at our most extreme. Uh, and at, at our worst, you mean that's that's pre the end of the Cold War, that's the peak of nu nuclearization, so there's so much going on globally that would obviously play into what Wonder Woman is trying to accomplish. Keep the peace. Yeah, we thought it could go on forever. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. everything we were doing right then, we thought it could go on forever. So what, what an interesting time to reflect back on now. Also, don't close. Um, so I think that you have something that you want to show everybody. Uh, having a strong, opinionated mother who is also very warm and loving and, you know, Polish mother, Jewish mother. And then, you know, all of my girlfriends, they're all very strong and independent and smart and soft and funny. And, like, I believe that that's what, that's the way we are, you know, women. And I was just very grateful and privileged uh, to have the opportunity to portray the extreme version of that. Um, but that's, I, I bring only what I believe in, and, and that's exactly what I believe in. Thank you. Awesome. Guys, one.